just realize we've been through a lot. Yeah, we've been through a lot. Yeah. Mm. It's happy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, I'm Sandy from China. Ni hao, I'm Avi, her husband from India. We are now together for nine years. More than nine More years. More than nine years. This is our story and how we met. So many of you have been asking in the comment section how you guys met and this is the most asked question. We have been thinking how to do this video a lot. Best way to do is we talking to you about how we met and our life story and at the same time showing you some photos of <laughs> our past. I think that's the most interesting part oh. even for us and to see what our different point of views are also. I think mm -hmm. that's another interesting aspect to this because I'm not sure we have even discussed ourselves. I don't think we never Yeah, we discussed. never discussed it, right? Like exactly yeah. that moment, how you feel like. So I think that's very interesting also for me <laughs> to see your thoughts. Uh. So maybe firstly we start with our backgrounds. So I'm from India, Haryana. I have been studying in around 7-8 different schools in Haryana. So you can say I'm a small town guy. I changed around 8 schools. And then I went to study engineering as usual, you know, for guys studying engineering and, <laughs> and daughters studying medicine is the norm in India, so I did my engineering. After finishing my engineering, I worked in Noida, my first job. And after working a few years, I decided... A few years? Yeah, a few years. I worked mm. uh, more than two years okay. in Noida. That's why he's old. <laughs> I decided that I need to do an MBA. I went through different options. In India, we tried to go to US, but the US schools were quite expensive. But then I found business school in Paris, which is also one of the top business schools there. And they gave me scholarship. And you know, Paris is never a bad idea. I thought, why not? Let's go to Paris. And that's where I met her. <laughs> and now I'm going to tell you how I ended up being in Paris. Mm -hmm. So I am Chinese. I. Uh, I grew up in Beijing, the capital, so I'm a big city girl. Big city girl. Big Small city town girl. guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ever since high school, I had this idea that, I, that I'm going to study French mm. in university. Because I remember one of the colleagues of my dad found out about this French cultural center newly opened in Beijing. Mm -hmm. And he told him that, oh, maybe you can bring your daughter there on weekends. That would be a nice weekend activity. So my dad brought me there and then I immediately fell in love with the French culture. Not to forget that, that I was a small ballerina since I was six. And in the ballet classes, we, the teacher used all the terms in French. Mm -hmm. So French was like the, the first foreign language for me that I ever learned. I always had this connection to French and French culture. I did a good job in my college entrance exam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I ended up, ended up studying French. So after college, I applied for uh, many business schools in France. And luckily, I got chosen from the same school as his. And I also was offered scholarship. Mm. So you always wanted to come to Paris? Yes. Not like me, who just realized three months before that I'm going to Paris. Mm. Oh, I, I had that dream since 15. Since 15, wow, mm. okay. <laughs> so I think I reached Paris on 17th of August 2011 and I met her the next day on 18th of August. I think I took the plane on the 18th of August Okay. and met you on the 19th. Okay, then maybe I also do the same. So we were actually maybe flying at the same time. At the same time. Right? Yeah, okay. And then we yeah. yeah met each other on that, the second day. On the second day, yeah. On the, basically, that was the first day in Paris because I came in the night. Yeah. Because mm. we were living in the same uh, student dorm. Eight floors in the building full of students. And I, I took the top floor uh, because I wanted to have a nice view. And I oh. remember... From my door, I can see the Eiffel Tower. So that was very nice. And she, you were on the first floor. Oh, yes. Yeah, you were on the first floor, I remember. Uh, because one of my friends from India, he was also on the first floor. And he was my neighbor, actually. Yeah. And that's how... And that's how... I was there that day, right? Yeah. I, I was uh, visiting my friend. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Our door was facing to each other. Uh -huh. I remember on that day, it was... I just took a nap. 
And、uh-huh. I just woke up from my nap. Yeah. And then my our friend starting to knock on my door. I'm like.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he, he said, "Oh, I'm、uh, my name is da da da. I'm from India. I'm your,、uh-huh. we're your neighbor. You know, get to talking. I know." I and was then, there at that time. No, or... and、oh, then、okay. I remember the strangest thing. He came straight in and sit on my bed. My friend. Oh. Ah, okay. I was like,、mm. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a bit hygiene problem.、Mm, yeah, I got people yeah, the huge,、sitting. huge hygiene problem. I know. Yeah, and I just、yeah. met him, so I was a bit.、Mm. And then. We were talking, and then the door was open,、mm-hmm. and then you came in. Ah, so I just came directly in your、yeah. room, and I also sat in the bed. No. Oh, thank God. That's but, <laughs> but I was fit like because we never met before,、uh-huh. and then you just walked in to my room. Yeah, I mean in India we are not so formal, you know, we are more relaxed people. Yeah, he came. I was came, just in my he, India, he, he India mind. He came、mind. straight in、uh, yeah. to a stranger's room,、yeah. and then I remember I. I thought, oh, this guy is quite tall,、mm. mm-hmm. uh, and with very big eyes.、Ah. And he just walked in, and he just walked in while you put your hands towards me. You shake my hands, and then you introduce yourself.、Mm-hmm. Mm. And so you were like, oh, this guy.、Uh... No. 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 <laughs> you were like in love with me. But no, no.、Oh. no but、oh. I felt very. Uh, comfortable. I didn't feel、mm-hmm. like you were a stranger. I feel like right away、oh. that like oh, I feel safe around this stranger. Oh,、mm. okay. I remember you were like I think、uh, wearing a green T-shirt,、mm. and、uh, I saw oh, that's a Chinese girl. And I was like okay, hello, let's see. Really, you <laughs> had that thought? No, and you were、uh, you were cute. Yeah, I think you were cute, and I like your eyes and your smile. Of course. Right away. Right away. Yeah, I think I found you. I found you pretty. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh, it's a, it's a pretty Chinese girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, nice, nice, good, good. And then right after we, the three of us decided to take a walk. Yeah, true. To Who, whose idea was it? My idea. Ah, your idea.、Uh. Oh yeah, she loves to go for walks. Yeah. Well, you just landed in Paris. <laughs> How can you not go for a walk to explore? Hanji, Hanji, Hanji. And the three of us, we all we all new newcomers to Paris. Yeah, that was it. I remember. We were very excited, and we walked around into a park, and then our friend took our first pictures together. Yeah, the picture、uh-huh. in the lake, right? Yes,、yeah. and you can see from the pictures that we are very distant from each other. <laughs> yeah,、right? met the first time. Yeah, yeah. so there are think... huge distance <laughs> between us. Yeah, so that was the first day we met. I think it was very nice. Who approached whom? Who approached whom? I think I was I was the guy who was who approached you, right? Yeah, I was.、Uh, <laughs> I was just te- texting you many times. Oh、right? yes, yeah, I, this, I keep texting you. You're like a very sticky.、Uh, <laughs> at least five messages per day. Five messages per day. I was never used to that.、Uh, How many、uh, girls were you texting at the same time? Only you, only you, <laughs> only you. Then I remember there was this party. I think it was around. One month later, after we joined the freshers party,、uh, right? One or two months, I don't remember. Yeah, around one month later, and I think in that in that party we were like dancing and all,、mm. and then I I walked you back back、uh, to your、uh, to your room. Yeah. Right. We left the party together, and then I walked you back to your room.、Uh. I think that's when we start to get a little bit closer.、No. no, I remember we、oh. were walking back to the dorm, and we were sitting on a bench.、Mm-hmm. Bench. On the on Grand Boulevard. Ah, you were tired. You、I、were tired. Were, yeah,、right? because it was the, very late the, in the night. The, the club、yeah. and the home was quite. Yeah, the, the, was, there was no metro anymore. Yeah, and you were tired. I、yeah. was tired. And we were sitting on the bench. Because guys, she sleeps at eleven. At eleven, her battery is gone. I, I'm、yeah. not a party so girl. So she's not a party girl. So I was I was full of energy,、oh. but she was like dead. And I, I remember you were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I was just trying to keep you warm. And then you were you were saying, feeling so soft. <laughs> <laughs> so soft, okay.、Mm. And I remember that on that day when he walked into my room, he had a he he had a peach in my fridge. <laughs> ah, the peach. Oh, again, as I said, you know, we Indians are very friendly, and、uh, yeah. <laughs> and I ate your peach, but so I was hungry. Yeah. And then I remember our first date. When I when I actually took you out,、mm. 
Mm. Right? Remember, I actually suited up and mm. you were also... I, would, I was dressed up. You were really dressed day. up. Mm. We went to an Indian restaurant. I remember it's so. called Gandhi. Ah, Gandhi. You remember uh, Gandhi. the name? Gandhi. It yeah. was an Indian restaurant near Opera. And I had a very large portion of uh, biryani. Biryani? Mm. Ah. And I couldn't finish it. And I got super full. Mm. But, I, but I remember you saying that uh, having Indian dinner on a first day is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because your stomach is, yeah, is, is uncomfortable. Full. Yeah, mm. sure, sure. It was very nice. I think you were in our friend circle, right? We were like a group of Indians, Chinese, uh, some foreigners staying together mm. in a friend in a group. We were dating, but secretly. I think at, at first we didn't really tell everyone mm. about no it. No one. Right? No one. Yeah. I so didn't no one tell knew. Anyone. Yeah, so no one knew because I, I know you just you just started. You don't know how it's going to develop. Right? He of. asked me. I remember on the in a bar near Bastille and with another friend of ours, another Indian friend, mm -hmm. and then you said, "Oh, I have something to tell you outside." Oh, okay. I, said, I don't remember this. That's like, because of the three of us, and he only asked me how to go outside, and then you asked me. Or do you want to be my girlfriend? Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You don't remember at all? I don't remember this, no. Uh -huh. Then what did you say? I said no. No? Oh, no. Shit. Of course, I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so after graduating... It was two years program. Yeah, it was two years program. And after graduating, we were looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. I found a job in Germany. So that's why I moved to Germany. My French was not that good. So it was quite difficult for me to find a job in Paris. In Germany, I found a very good job in English. So I moved to Germany, you know, and when you're young, you don't really care so much. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's, let's try, let's mm. try Germany. And then I remember you helped me with setting up my apartment. I was uh, very upset, to be honest. Oh, sad time. will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm. I, you, yeah. yeah I, I had to have a job to keep my visa, otherwise I had to go back to India. Mm. So it was very important to find a job. Yeah. I remember uh, the first time it, I, I went to Germany with him to set it up, the, mm -hmm. the new apartment and everything. And then I went back to Paris alone on the train. And oh, I'm emotional. Oh. What happened? What happened? It's just memory. Memory away? Mm. Okay. Uh, and because I remember you walked me to the... And I remember he... He accompanied, he accompanied me to the train station and my train mm. came and I went in. And because I knew you knew and I, I, I was gonna cry and then you just you didn't say you didn't you didn't say a lot to for a goodbye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just quickly went in. Yeah, it was not easy. Uh, the long distance in the in the initial days. But then I think we got we got used to of that. Tissue tissue. Tissue tissue. Tissue tissue tissue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when I went back to Paris, I remember I took a... It was already late, so mm -hmm. I took a taxi because <laughs> where I used to live was not a very safe district. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paris is quite dangerous, guys. And then I took a taxi home and I started crying in the taxi oh. so much. And the taxi driver was like, Ça va, mademoiselle? Tout va bien? <laughs> Yeah, because we were like together for almost two years mm. and suddenly, you know, yeah. I told my mother, hey mom, get her uh, ring size because I was not sure her ring size. Ah, I remember <laughs> yeah, because yeah. to be honest, at that time I was a bit also, you know, asking questions like what, when is this guy proposing? I've been dating <laughs> for seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. And then I remember it was the day before we left India. The okay. last day, your, uh -huh. your mom said, oh, let's get you some uh, rings, ah, my silver. Mom, my mom told you, okay. No, uh -huh. because no, it was for his niece. Uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. It was oh, let's take the niece out to get some uh, silver stuff for her, and I'm also uh, giving you something, mm -hmm. a ring, and then I felt oh. Maybe this is the time. This is the time. <laughs> and then it turned out that she just wanted to give me a ring. Mm. So I was quite disappointed. I didn't. Oh, see you didn't that get it. You didn't no, get it. I didn't yeah, get it. good, good, good. I, I thought I did, but I, then I got disappointed. Uh, I told my mom to keep it a bit secret and just get her size mm. and keep it secret. So I think for the proposal, I kept uh, it quite simple. Your mother was here. Yes. Yeah, I think that it was quite special. Your mother was here, and it was uh, your. My, I can say, mm -hmm. I'm my 30th birthday. <laughs> I was not sure she wanted to share age, guys. Mm -hmm. So your 30th birthday, I made a video. Your 30 friends and family wishing you happy birthday. Mm -hmm. So it, and in the end, I, I said, okay, hey, I have a question to ask. And then question... He didn't ask the question. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> he I'm, got so... I'm on my knees and, and asking yeah, with yeah, the ring. He, yeah. he, he said in the video, the last cut in the video, he said, I also have some question for you in person. Um. And then he, uh, he was next to me and he went down on his knee mm. and opened the ring. Oh yeah. Mm. It was too much for me. I was already too much. And then Very he went awkward. speechless. And yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I, because your mother was there, right? I mean, for me, it was also your mother a bit awkward. Uh, but okay. But yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, mm. And then I, I just uh, I burst into tears. Ah! And then I. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't also say anything. I just did uh, not. Mm. And then the marriage. So we married uh, next year after the proposal, right? Same year. Oh, okay, okay, okay sorry. So same year, but. We just did a court marriage or registered marriage. Registered. Registered, yeah. So, in Copenhagen. Oh yeah, we had to go to Copenhagen because in Germany it's very complicated to get married mm. for two foreigners. So we went to Copenhagen and it oh, was... Oh, we stay in uh, his uh, cousin's yeah, house. Yeah, my cousin's house. She's mm. very, so very nice. Very, very uh, nice. And it was a very nice experience. Mm. But our wedding... Our wedding was planned to take place in Wuhan in April this year. Mm. I had it planned. Oh, we chose the venue. Yeah. It was in a very nice Chinese traditional we, Chinese we chose garden. Chose the wedding planner. Yeah, wedding planner. The video guys also video. about to be uh, yeah. friends invitations. Our German yeah. friends were starting to apply for the visa already. Yeah, but you know now all the borders are closed, so we are waiting for all the borders to be open and do the wedding. Uh, we will do two weddings: one Indian wedding and one Chinese wedding, of course. When? When? when you never. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I think first priority is everybody's health. Yes. You know? So to sum up, we met in two thousand eleven. Then we started our long distance. From 2013 to 2017. Yeah, in 17 you moved to I Germany. I moved to yeah. Germany. I was lucky to find a job in Germany yeah. um, before coming here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And and then we got married officially in 2019. I think one last thing I just want to add is we started this YouTube channel to also show that it doesn't matter the nationality, the, the culture, what matters is you two and your um, uh, understanding with each other. I get a lot of questions, why Chinese girl, why not Indian? Uh, for me, it doesn't matter. It should not be a question, why a Chinese girl, why Indian girl? Why me then? Answer this, why me? That we make another video about. Huh? Mm, what Okay, emotional way. Hmm. Yeah, so. Kyao, yeah. Why, why? Why emotional? Oh. Okay, guys, so you're getting too emotional here. <laughs> I think she's, you know, nostalgia makes you really emotional, I think. So, yeah, that's it about how we met and our story. Thank you for being here and watching the video. In this video I won't ask you to subscribe or something but yeah I think it's uh, thank you for watching <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, I, I make you some food now let's eat something uh, I think you're a bit hungry no I'm not hungry not hungry it's just it's happy tears happy tears happy tears happy, tears. Tears. happy and just realize we've been through a lot yeah we've been through a lot yeah.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.